Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and I want to show you guys how I reuse my applicator bottles for whenever I'm pouring resin. This is a question that I get pretty frequently and the number one step for reclaiming your applicator bottles and getting more life out of them is to drain them before your resin has cured. So the same cup that I mix up my resin in so I'm not wasting any more material, I just take two uh, mixing sticks like these are just jumbo big old craft sticks um, and I just kind of prop the bottle up by the shoulders so that it'll drain out into the bottle without sitting in it and this is just the method that I use but you know you do you and I really want to watch out and make sure that I don't have any resin buildup on the threading because if we don't have a good connection there then it's not going to uh, the cap's not going to stay on, and when next time we try to go and do some resin, it's going to, the cap's going to come off. And so now, I've only had this setting up for about 12 hours or so, so I'm just reaching in with my hand. You could use some pliers as well, and you can just kind of stretch and move the bottle a little bit, and this will delaminate your resin. From the inside there. Uh, you may not be able to get all of it. I really kind of wish it hadn't torn in half because now it's going to be all weird, but that's okay. Maybe if I had some longer nosed pliers or something on hand, um, we could delaminate this the rest of the way. I also kind of get in there with a chopstick. There we go. Oh, that worked perfect. And if you get it while it's still just a little malleable and squishy and not quite sticky, then our bottle is just about as good as new now. And you can just peel off any excess, again, making sure that our threads are going to be bare. Now, the top part is always a problem for me because I used to try to drain it this way, but if it starts to harden up a little bit even at all in the tip, then you lose like the whole thing. So I just set it on, I usually have a piece of shop towel for my hands while I'm resin casting, so I just set that there. Then we make sure that there's nothing in the way of the threads. And that our applicator itself is clear. And from there you can just be however thorough as you want with making sure that you've got all of your resin removed. But so long as you've got airflow or like a clean passage through there and your um, threading lines up, you're good to go. And that's how I reclaim my bottles. And oftentimes I'll just keep the same... Uh, I don't reuse these cups. You could use one of the reusable silicone ones, that way by the time it's all said and done you can remove the stuff out of it, but some of the resins that I've used, those silicone ones only last me like five or six times, and so for the price of them, they weren't really offsetting. Um, so, might be good for draining though. But I'd love to hear y'all's ideas and comments and stuff, uh, well, down below in the comment area. And um, yeah, I, I do hope that this was helpful to you because resin can get uh, kind of expensive sometimes just with the different you know burning through these bottles every time I do a cast it's nice to be able to get you know more more uses out of them but I'll see you next time so until then y'all happy crafting Mwah. bye <laughs>